Hello and welcome back to the 1963 art channel and I am Dayanita. So I have to give you this disclaimer, I am not dressed up for this video. It's puja time in Guwahati and I'm heading out so I thought might as well just make this video while I'm dressed up. I mean it is such an emotion. We can already sense that the weather is changing and it's such a beautiful feeling. Now if we go back quickly to what I'm going to show you in this video. Today's piece actually also begins from another commission series which happened a little while ago. A very dear patron of mine, she commissioned eight Jyotir Lingas which were meant to be gifted to her now mother-in-law on her birthday. I mean what a thoughtful gift, right? My art pieces are also very insightful for me and when somebody commissions a piece I get to know so much about that particular cityscape or a particular structure temple complex I try as much as I can to learn about the place and eventually if I ever have the opportunity in future I would definitely go visit take my own photographs and learn more about it in person so the piece that we are going to do today is the Kashi Vishwanath which is in the beautiful state of Uttar Pradesh this state is known for its beautiful religious space one out of which is famously known as Varanasi. There are plenty other fascinating beautiful things to explore in UP but the most beautiful would be the Kashi Vishwanath temple which again is located in Varanasi. If I had to bring you some interesting facts about this place the first one would definitely be the fact that this temple was actually broken several times and then fabricated again and again. It was a very persistent site of loot during the time of the Mughals. And what's even more interesting is that even today on a daily basis this temple receives up to about 3000 visitors and on special days it goes up to 1 lakh and beyond. I mean, can you believe that? It's insane! This temple has a total of three golden domes and each of these were made due to the very generous contributions of Maharaja Ranjit Singh. I mean, that's too much history for one site alone. But isn't India too vibrant that way? So now let's quickly go back to the commission that I'm about to show you for today. The piece was created out of a color palette that was picked by my patron out of the options that were presented to her. If you see, these are all 8 into 8 paintings and the complete view will definitely be there for you on my Instagram channel which is 1963 underscore reinventing. So if you have to see how they were framed, how they were put inside the float frames, please visit my Instagram you will find so many more updates happening there on a regular basis. What's interesting about these paintings is that there are a total of eight pieces but each of these have been created out of the same color palette. The interesting thing about these paintings is that each of the pieces have been created with different varying proportions of the same colors. Although I have all of these videos to upload, I thought this should be the second video because I do like the color combination that was used here. It fits perfectly and at the same time the watercolor technique that I've used, all the flaws that I have been talking about up until now, I believe they were quite adequately used in this video. So yeah, I'm about to head out because it's puja out there but I want you to definitely stay and watch the video till the end and please hit the like button because I'm so positive that you're going to end up liking this video. So I'm heading out. Bye bye.